As I introduced you to Swarm, I said that there was a single facing manager that was communicating with all the cluster and all your doc remote Docker engines, but you can actually have many of those instances that are Swarm managers. So I can add one more here and one more here. The added benefit of having many Swarm managers is that you can have failover the Swarm manager instance. So if this one here goes down, another one is going to pick the load and communicate back with the cluster to make sure that it won't disrupt any activity for you to schedule more containers on the cluster. So this is done through an external storage, like console, etcd, or zookeeper. When you will bootstrap your cluster, you will point to this external storage. And basically, the managers are going to compete to take a key on this distributed storage and make sure that one is elected as the leader. When one is elected as the leader, it will notify the other instances with the IP and the port of the leader so that they can forward the request to the leader and then contact the cluster. This is to make sure that you have a single th source of truth and that maybe some disconnected state won't impact how the cluster works and make sure that everything works fine for the scheduling decisions, for example, and all the constraints with affinities, resources, etc. So as I said, like the added benefit is that this instance can go down now. The process will be that the, the, the other managers will stop contacting the leader because they, it's down. So they will be notified by the storage that this instance is down. Then, whoop, whoop. The managers are going to contact back the storage to compete on the key again. And only one will get that key and be elected as the leader. Now the storage will notify the follower that it needs to connect to a remote manager with some IP and port to forward all the requests. And you can have some kind of switch with DNS or whatever the system you, you want to use to point to an healthy instance all the time. So basically the IP of the healthy instance will be the one that is elected as the leader and actually up and running. 